Hi, I'm Johnny from ultimatepapermache.com and a couple of years ago I made a video showing you how to use Elmer's Art Paste. And the reason I wanted to do that video is because, partly because the product was really inexpensive. You got enough in a little package that cost I think five dollars to make a whole gallon of paste and the paste would never attract mold or mildew. And it was really great for schools because you didn't have to worry about making up a new batch of paste every single day like you do kind of when you're using flour and water paste. And of course, <laughs> very shortly after I made that uh, video, they stopped making it. And it, it just disappeared from the market. So I decided finally that I would go ahead and make up a video showing you how you can use methyl cellulose, which is what Elmer's art paste was made out of, but just not get it from Elmer's company because, you know, they, they don't sell it anymore. And I, I had assumed that I would very easily find a uh, methyl cellulose paste product because it is used by a lot of paper mache artists already um, and it is used by people who repair books and, you know, people who need paste <laughs> that doesn't attract mold. But I couldn't find any when I was doing a really fast search, but methyl cellulose is sold for a lot of different purposes. And so I just went ahead and bought the first one I found on Amazon. This this is the one I got. It's There's nothing in it except for methyl cellulose. It's actually used in the kitchen. Um, and it says you can go find recipes and stuff for it. And it's they got 380 calories per 100 grams. <laughs> so they really do put it in things that you eat. I'm not really sure why. It, it's made out of wood. It just sounds like a, a strange idea. But that does prove that it is edible or at least non-toxic. And it, I think it's also used as a laxative. You want to uh, check on that. I, I haven't looked that up, but I, I, I know you can find it sometimes in uh, pharmacy aisles. So you probably don't want your kids eating it, <laughs> but it's not going to hurt them if they do. This comes in a package that is actually the same size as the old Elmer's Art Paste. There's two ounces, and that's how much was in the, the old one. It is more expensive. It's, I think this cost $12. The two ounces of Elmer's Art Paste makes up a whole gallon, so that's uh, what I assumed that this would make up to. But I don't need a whole gallon of paste. I did make up a quart of paste, and even that is way more than I needed for the project that I'm working on right now, but it's going to last for a really long time, so that's okay. And in the old instructions for the Elmer's Art Paste, they used um, two ounces of the methyl cellulose that came in their box in a whole gallon of cold water. I only needed a quart, so I cut that into a smaller amount of half an ounce, which was, according to Google, about 15 grams. So that's what I'm going to be um, working with here. You're going to see me mixing it up. I kind of made a mess because... <laughs> It's a little bit different. It it doesn't mix up as easily as the old Elmer's art paste does. Maybe they added a little something to keep it from being so bubbly. I'm not really I'm not really sure what they did, but it, it is a little bit different. So I did kind of make a mess. But um, if you use a bigger bowl, <laughs> that won't happen to you. So let's go ahead and get started. Perfect. Okay, that should be about half of an ounce. And I thought I would go ahead and mix it up in a little bit of water first. And then uh, add the rest of the water. Whoa. Not mixing at all. Huh. Weird. Okay, let's see if this works. It, it isn't mixing at all right now. I'm going to get the rest of the water. Try this again. It's, it all went to the top. It doesn't. Oops. I don't know why I put it. I did not fill it up with <laughs> completely with water. I guess it's just getting so much air in it. Oops. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this. I'll go put this back in the kitchen. Didn't get the rabbit wet. Poor old Jack Rabbit. Um, but Elmer's made us let it sit for a little while, so I think I'm going to do that with this too. I'm going to go feed the dogs and let this sit for just a little while, and then we'll come back and, and start playing with it. Okay, let's try it. I've got some in the bowl. It actually sticks a little bit better than the Elmer's, I think. Okay, I'm feeling really good about it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I do have a whole video about applying paper mache, uh, the strips and paste, so that they'll kind of lay down flat like they're supposed to. I'll put a link to it down below if you'd like to watch that. I've got as much on there as I can right now before messing it up. I don't want to turn it over and get this all stuck to the table. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my little battery operated fan and leave it for an hour or so. That should dry it up enough so that we can find out if it's going to work. If it starts pulling up on the edges, that's what I'm really looking for because I we want to make sure that it's actually stuck on really good. So let's go ahead and turn this on. I'll be back in about an hour and we'll see what happens. I left it for several hours in front of the fan and it's now dry. It just had one layer, of course, so that's not surprising. Um, I'm really impressed. It's very smooth. It seems to be uh, stuck on really well. And I, I did leave it overnight. I just wanted to make sure it would be dry all the way through so that I could really test it and make sure that nothing starts to fall off or you know maybe the edges of the paper might curl up or something. Um, none of that happened. So this isn't just a, a substitute for Elmer's art paste. It's just a really good paste, period. If you're going to be making something out of uh, newspaper strips and paste, then this is a really good paste to use. As you can see, this was a little bit messy for me, and I was not able to mix it up just with my spatula. Uh, you might be able to do it if you put it in a bigger bowl with a whisk and, and you uh, really whip it. You know, if, if your arm's a lot stronger than mine, <laughs> it might work. But I, I'm just not sure that, that would... You'd have to test it to, to make sure. Um, there's a lot of different brands, and, and if it's got methyl cellulose and nothing else in it, it, it should work. But it would be really nice if we could find some methyl cellulose that's specifically made for paste, not because it's a different product, but because it might come with instructions <laughs> on exactly how to mix it up. And if you happen to know of a source of methyl cellulose that's specifically made for paste, please let us know because it would be really nice to have some actual instructions instead of just <laughs> messing around with it like I did. But it still worked and I'm, I am, like I said, I'm really excited about it. Uh, it took uh, um, about 12 hours for all that foam to dissipate, it, but it did finally and this is what it looks like uh, now. And obviously I didn't use very much for my rabbit and um, I'm just going to put this over here on the shelf. I'm not going to put it in the fridge or anything because it should be just fine. So if you happen to have some students or if you live in a really humid environment, you really want to check this stuff out. Um, it is more expensive than Elmer's Art Paste. I guess that's to be expected. But $12 is what, what I paid for this. Maybe you could get it for less somewhere else. I got, I'll got i put a link to, to this particular one down below, but go ahead and do your own searches and, and just find something and, and play around with it. If you've actually used uh, uh, methyl cellulose for your paper mache and you have some ideas or suggestions for how we can use it, or maybe some ideas on how to mix it up a little bit less messy than I did, <laughs> please go ahead and put that comment down below too. And then in the meantime, go make something and come visit me at ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.